you guys. Let's sit you here. Let's sit you here. Well, hello, you guys. Welcome. Welcome back. I have a drink with me. Is it? Gin Smash Tailspin. I'm going to crack this because... Anyway, you guys, I am doing something. Let me zoom in a bit. So it's been kind of a crazy time in the world lately. A lot of anxiety, a lot of uncertainty. It's just kind of a very weird time. I really hope you guys are all keeping well and safe and just protecting yourself and in turn being respectful of other people. There's a lot of people out there who I'm sure just really don't think this is as big of a deal as it is. I really hope you guys are taking it seriously and I hope you're keeping safe. And with that being said, at the end of this rant, I wanted to do something a little bit fun, fun for you guys, probably not so fun for me. I purchased something that I've been very interested in and I first heard of this through Sarah Therese who I've been following for the past couple months. Let's just say I got an epilator, you guys. An epilator, if you don't know what that is. Somebody described it in the reviews when I ordered this on Amazon as a personal torture device, but she would purchase again. And what an epilator is, if you don't know, it's basically an electric hair removal device and there's, I think, 20 tweezers built in. So you roll this up your legs and tweezers are basically just gonna, they are pulling out your hair. I, I'm just very tired of shaving. I'm very tired of spending money on razors that are just disposable. I really don't like that. I was looking into some straight razors where you just replace the blades and you can recycle the blades. But then when I saw this, I thought it would be kind of great because I've heard through Sarah Therese who's had this and has been using it for years, she says that the, her hair will stay away for like weeks on end. So super excited about this because essentially if this works, I won't be buying razors anymore. I'll just have this for as long as it wants to work and do well. And from what I hear, it's a good product. I heard a lot of good stuff about Braun. I, I know there's other options out there on Amazon right now, like other brands and stuff, like Philips and a few other ones, but I just went with this because that's what Sarah Therese suggested and I just really like her, she's awesome. So, what I'm gonna do is have a shower, exfoliate, try and relax, thus the drink that I'm drinking because they say I screenshotted this, some tips if you're a first time epilator and I'm so sorry that I'm moving around so much, I'm on my knees on the tile floor and it's uncomfortable, so I'm just readjusting a little bit. Okay, tips on how to epilate. Tips for first time users. Evenings are the best time for epilation. You're more relaxed and any minor bumps will be gone by the morning. The best preparation is exfoliating in warm water. It will leave your skin clean and relaxed and will help to reduce those dreaded ingrown hairs. Use an exfoliating scrub or a mitt or we recommend our bronze silk of self-promotion. When epilating, hold your epilator so that it feels natural. Hold at a 90 degree angle to your legs and run the epilator in an upward motion against the direction of hair growth. With regular, this is the line that gets me. With regular use, epilation becomes virtually painless. Uh, the golden rule is to moisturize after epilation, not before. Apply body lotion for best results and get set for super soft, silky skin in the morning. I'm no stranger to having hair pulled out. I've waxed many times in my life. Um, it just gets expensive and I don't know, like, it's like, do I want to put gas in my car or do I want to go get a wax? Like, I'm gonna put gas in my car for the most part. And I don't get how people can afford to do that kind of self-care all the time. Not me, girl. I got I got stuff to pay for. I got stuff to do. <laughs> Just to confirm with you guys, I got the Braun Silk Epilator 3 or Epil 3. I will link everything down below, the links to these items. So this guy that I got was $49.98 and I have Amazon Prime, so free shipping. But I need to read you guys. This was probably like the thing that <laughs> <laughs> made me want to buy it because I thought it was so funny. This girl ranked it four stars out of five. Excellent personal torture device. 
I purchased this item for a few reasons, none of them included being a masochist. I was tired of the cost associated with buying disposable razors. I'm cheap and suffer from garbage related guilt. Me too girl, me too. Anyone who has darker hair and is self conscious about it on their face, I highly recommend this product, but please use common sense and tie your hair back before using this beast. It removes hair, not stupidity. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing a lot of good reviews and that's what made me buy this on top of Sarah Therese suggesting it. So, enough of my chit chat, I'm going to listen to some calming music, have a nice shower, sip on my drink, and then when I'm ready, when I'm not being a coward, when I'm brave enough, I'm going to come out here. You're going to epilate with me and it's going to be great for you because you're not going to be feeling the pain and maybe you'll get a laugh out of it because that's what I want to do in, in these uncertain times. Let's just laugh guys, let's just have fun, remember the funny things in life, and everybody laughs when somebody hurts themselves for the most part, so here we go. Had my shower, felt really relaxed, finished my drinks, but then Jordan actually needed to have a shower, so I didn't actually go right from having a relaxing shower to doing this, so I kind of screwed myself over. I'm super nervous, but I'm going to go through with it. I will say, I did use the epilator on my chin and my upper lip. You guys ain't gonna lie, I got, obviously every single human being has hair all over their body, whether they like to believe it or not. And it's been bothering me on my upper lip because I can see it in the light and stuff and on my chin and it was bothering me. So right after the shower, I did use it on that area and it actually doesn't look that red right now. Um, super happy with the results, but I will say, <laughs> freaking painful. So it wasn't a fun, by any means, it was not an enjoyable experience, but I enjoy the look after. And I'm not gonna give a, or should I give a close up? So don't mind my imperfections. I am breaking out on my chin and stuff, but you can see all along here, the, um, like the, what do you call them? The hair follicles. Are a bit um, puffed out right now but it's looking really good I think I got all the area so so I'm happy with that I'm actually very happy with that um, but now I need to do my legs and uh, I'm, I'm with how bad this hurt I'm, I'm scared for my legs because I attempted to wax my legs myself one time and it was painful doing that and that's like a quick rip getting a bunch off at once and this is a bit slower so oh, this should be fun i poured myself another drink oh and they say sarah therese suggested to do this on a towel because obviously hair is going to fall everywhere and the epilator that i got i told you guys about this one it um, plugs into the wall so you are not to use this obviously in the shower but you can buy battery operated ones where you can use wet or dry this one is dry only so since we're being so real in this little fun experimental first time vlog let me show you how disgusting my legs look and I'm also going to show you this giant bruise on the back of my leg. Side note, like a side story, Jordan took me on a bike and hike and the bike pedal kept hitting me in the back of my leg when there were moments when we had to like push our bikes through a trail. And um, when I was walking, my right leg kept like bashing on the pedal and the pedal is like metal and pokey and it just was not fun. So I have a nice lovely bruise on my leg to top everything else off so here we go don't know if you guys can see that that is the glory of my legs what i do for youtube you guys and then that is the bruise so it kind of looks like the hawaiian islands that i'm just noticing now <laughs> but that is my lovely bruise those are my lovely hairy legs, and we shall see the result. Here we go. I feel like you guys also need to be seeing like my facial expression as I'm doing this, because this doesn't... Mm -mm. Okay. Oh gosh, you guys. Okay, I'm starting down at the ankle, but you can't really see it, because I want you to see my face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, it hurts. 
Oh, I think, oh, that hurts. That really hurts. It's working. It looks nice, but that, oh, that hurts. And my legs are really hairy. Oh my gosh, I need a drink. I'm just being a baby. Being a big freaking, ooh. I don't know if I had it on that much. Okay, the trick is to like breathe. Ooh. You know what? I've sat many hours for tattoos and I would do a tattoo a million times over with before I ever did this and I'm doing it now. Oh gosh. What did I do? Probably looking so dramatic, but my ankles look nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> behind the ankle, behind the ankle, around your Achilles. That does not feel good. Oh gosh. Guys, this is really fun. So fun. I knew, I know, I knew going into it, it wasn't going to be fun. <laughs> okay, okay, this is fine. Life is good. We're fine. It's looking really good, I will say. I'll show you guys. I should give you an up close. Here is my ankle. So you can see it looks pretty well smooth. And then you get up and you start seeing the hair there. So there's the hairiness, but we go down, and there's the smooth, nice area. And apparently your skin's gonna look a bit red and feel bumpy, but in the morning it feels a lot better. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that contrast, you guys. So it's smooth right here, and then it gets to the hair. So I will say, Definitely is taking quite a few passes. Definitely quite a few passes. I don't know if that's gonna get better over time. I'm sure it will. And I, I'm hoping the pain will get better over time too. Oh gosh. And it's only like, <laughs> not even halfway done the first leg. I will say um, when I'm like, when it, I, obviously when I'm clenching, it hurts a lot more. I think that's a common thing. But um, when I'm allowing myself to try and breathe, it doesn't feel as bad, but it doesn't feel wonderful. That's for darn sure. Hurts like a mother trucker. Yeah. Um, I as I'm doing it, I also this is like probably funny for you guys too, but if you're interested, I it's nice for me to like give you a first hand experience, obviously. Um, and I am noticing going like different directions um, and you have to make a few passes and I do feel the tiniest bit of like stubblies because I'm sure there's some hairs that um, kind of like broke instead of been pulled completely out. I think that'll probably get better over time. It looks good. Like I can't see any hairs, but you can definitely feel a few little pricklies, but it does still feel like really nice and smooth. So that's a nice thing, I guess. Okay, so I've been recording for 23 minutes um, and I'm not even half done my first leg. So it does take a while. I don't think that it helps that I'm like stopping to talk to you guys. 
but we're in this together. <laughs> it hurts. Oh, my camera's dying. So I guess that's just going to be a thing. So it hurts. I hope you guys enjoyed my torture. I'm going to continue on with this and then I will update you. Okay, bye.